Welcome to N Angelo T N X T. I, I I try to be funny there. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna leave now. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the N X T tonight started with the Heritage Cup match between Noam Dar and Chad Gable, and uh, that match happened last week during the Supernova sessions. And everybody thought that it's gonna be Otis versus Noam Dar, but it happened to be Chad Gable versus Noam Dar. And everyone knows that Chad Gable is not gonna win the Heritage Cup because his sights are set on Gunther. Not right now, but as I said, I think this is the guy who's gonna destroy on Gunther, Gunther. But anyway, I always like the Heritage Cup matches because, you know, it's not only one fall, it has a timer, it has suspense, and it's super entertaining, I don't know. In the end, the match ended in a tie. I think Noamdar had one point and Chad Gable had one point and the timer just ended, which means that Noamdar trains and it was amazing. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed the match. I really enjoyed the experience. So I give it up and every time I forget that we are not doing this here. After that, we had a little bit of a squash kind of situation match, but not really a squash match. Angel Garza and Humberto versus Edris, Enofe and Malik Blade. It, as I said, it was not a squash match. The second one is a tag team that has been lingering in NXT for quite some time. In the end, Angel Garza and Humberto, of course, won, which means that they're targeting the NXT Tag Team Championships. And later that night, they jumped the Don uh, and uh, the underboss aka the family from behind and basically the family said that they are next in line for the NXT Tag Team Championships so a really exciting times for Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo I kind of want them to win not because the family is not entertaining the family is really entertaining with these tag titles but I want to see Angel and Garza Angel and Humberto with the titles because I feel like they have a potential. They have something cooking. Let them cook. After that, the two matches for the deadline for the Iron Survivor Challenge. First match was Carmelo Hayes versus George Briggs. And, and about this match, I thought it is gonna be easy match for Carmelo, but apparently these guys, both of them are solid. George Briggs is actually solid. I remember that actually Two years ago or something like this he was in the breakout tournament and yeah he was eliminated first or something like this but he was solid and I remember that now when he was having a match with Carmelo of course Carmelo won but it was a good match nonetheless the other match was Blair Davenport versus Tia Hale which surprisingly for me Blair Davenport won I was expecting Tia Hale to win uh, because it is the favorite and I like her obviously she should win but apparently there is the story with the chase you going on there and she was distracted because the student section was not there to cheer for her and all of that stuff so I'm really excited to see the chase you story and I'm really excited to see who is gonna be the last participant in that iron survivor challenge next week a little bit of a setup from last week, Eddie Torby versus Charlie Dempsey. I skipped that one. Uh, not entirely, because Eddie Torpy kinda has a really big potential in front of him and Charlie Dempsey as well. And I'm sure that one day they will be the main event of everything they're into. But right now, I just, something doesn't click. Something doesn't click, man, with Drew Gulag's group. I don't know what is it, but something doesn't click there. And Eddie Torpy is too much of a hippie, man. Please, what is going on with Eddie Torpy? Like that guy has has the it has something special in him, but it's definitely not that character. Last but not least, Liar Valkyria versus Zaya Lee for the NXT Championship. And the match was supposed to happen earlier that night, but Zaya Lee came out and she knocked out. A liar of Valkyria and everyone was like is the championship match gonna happen is the championship match gonna happen but it happened in the main event of course everybody knew that's gonna happen kind of but anyway it was good still and in the end that match happened spoilers Zali lost Lyra Valkyria won of course 
but it kind of makes no sense because Becky Lynch won over Zia Lee in Light of Valkyria, of course, is gonna win against Zia Lee if you're following the math. Because if Zia Lee can beat Becky Lynch, what are the chances of beating Lyra Valkyria who beat Becky Lynch for the title? But I'm gonna let my eyes close and I'm gonna say that this match was fantastic. I love that Zia Lee was wrestling two nights in a row. She had the exposure of her lifetime and I hope from here now her exposure only to grow. I feel like she has a lot of potential. I don't know if this is with this character specifically, but I kind of like the whole ceremony with the tea last week and all of that stuff. So maybe this is her character, but I don't know. I really enjoyed the matches and to conclude everything, if I was to rate an Angelo T, I would have given it a solid 6.23 out of 10. It was a solid show. It, it was a little bit of a mid, I don't know, nothing big actually happened. Uh, a little bit of the drama situation between Melo, Trick and Lexus King happened, but nothing really to elaborate on. Actually, wait a second, just give me a second. As I was saying that, I remembered actually what happened in the first qualifier for the Iron Survivor Challenge. Actually, Carmelo Hayes lost. Because Lexus King came out and he distracted him and all of that stuff. The show still is 6 out of 6.23 out of 10. But yeah, it, it, nothing major happened. Not that every week something major should happen, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of these qualifiers right now because they're kind of obvious who is gonna win. I was, yeah, I was a little bit shocked as you have seen that Melo is not the winner of that uh, match, but still, 6.23, mistake is mine. If you're watching this video, please like, subscribe, despite the mistake, and I'm gonna see you next time. I swear. Peace.